Alabama. Here is Don't You Dare Read This, Mrs. Dunfrey, and we are ready for page 37. Page 37 is October the 27th. Okay, so we're going to read October the 27th. Don't read this, Mrs. Dunfrey. While I was working at the Burger Boy last night, Dad took Matt over to the Children's Palace and bought him a big Nintendo system. Even better than the one that I was going to get. When I got home from work, Dad had it all set up and they were playing some video game that had to do with saving the world from invading aliens. Matt wanted me to come play with them, but I told him it was past his bedtime. Any adult should know that, I said, and then I was scared because that was the kind of thing that would have really set Dad off in the past. I was lucky. I don't think Dad heard me because the video game was so loud. Tish, please play with us, Matt said. If she doesn't want to play, that's her problem, Dad said. It's just more time for us, right? More father-son time. This is a boy's game. We don't need any girls. Right, Matt echoed. No girls allowed, Tish. I went back to my room, so mad that I wanted to hit somebody. I pounded on the bed over and over again until Mom yelled, Tish, stop that! And I couldn't yell back at her either because she and Dad are so lovey-dovey now that he'd probably beat me if I said anything to her. I wish I could be like Mom and Matt and just smile and smile and smile. Who cares that Dad was gone for two years? He's back now. Who cares that he yelled all the time and he broke dishes and he hit mom? And sometimes even me. He's not hitting anybody now. Yet. If grandma was here, she'd be on my side. She'd tell mom and Matt how stupid they're being. Tish, okay. Do think about the lodestar. Okay, let's put some facts down. We know quite a bit now. Dad was gone for two years. He was abusive when he was there. He hit mom he hit tish and now all of a sudden he's acting funny he's like giving matt a whole bunch of stuff and trying to be father of the year so let's put some of those things down as our facts but i bet that brings some questions to mind how long is dad going to be nice does dad leave again does dad stay does dad start to get abusive again Okay, ask, ask yourself some questions. What are some questions you have about what might happen next? Top of page 39, November the 3rd. Don't read this, Mrs. Dunfrey. Dad is still being really nice. He bought Matt a pirate costume and took him out trick-or-treating Saturday night, and I went to a Halloween party with Rochelle and Chastity, and no one noticed that I didn't get home until 3 a.m., could real life be like this always? I can't believe it. I have noticed that dad doesn't seem to have a job anymore. I don't know where he is getting the money to buy all those things for Matt. He bought me some perfume the other day too, but I told him it wasn't a kind I use. It was white, white sands, something for women a lot older than me. November the 6th. Please don't read this, Mrs. Dunfrey. I knew it was too good to last. Mom and Dad had a big fight last night. I came home from the Burger Boy and Dad was throwing things at Mom. His shoes, one of the lamps, a decorative Elvis plate that Mom had to go and order off the TV. Where's Matt? I asked right away. Dad yelled at me something about how I was probably worse than my mother. And I thought that he was going to throw one of Grandma's old flower pots at me. I ran to my room and I slammed the door and then I was sure that when I was sure that dad hadn't followed me, I crept down the, to Matt's room and Matt was in there hiding under the bed crying and I pulled him out and I made him sit on the bed with me. He had lint in his hair. Okay, lint is a great word that we can add to our vocab, but a lint in your hair is like a piece of dust, a dust bunny in your hair. And his eyes were all swollen and red like he'd been crying for hours. And I wanted to march back out to the living room and tell mom and dad to shut up or leave or something, anything to quit scaring Matt. Instead, I held my hands over his ears. That's not daddy out there, Matt told me. Oh, yeah, I said. No, it's a bad man. Daddy gives me presents. What was I supposed to say to that? After a while, mom said, what are they, Matt said, what are they fighting about? 
I've been trying not to listen, but I would have had to have been deaf not to hear some of it. Mom was all whimpers now and pitiful apologies, uh, but Dad was going on and on in a loud voice about Haggerty's and someone that Mom worked with, and I think Dad thought Mom two-timed him while he was away. You might want to add two-timed. Two times means he thought she cheated. That's so crazy. I don't think she's looked at 